So you want to backpack around the world, but you might be a little nervous about starting. Oh, my name's Christian. I traveled to over 70 countries by the age of 24, and these are the five biggest mistakes that I've made while backpacking. I'm a big believer of making mistakes because that's how you learn the most. Sometimes if you can avoid little mistakes, it makes your experience so much better. So number one on the five biggest mistakes that I've made while backpacking is relying on flights. You know, coming from the United States, we almost always rely on either flights or a car. That's just because we don't have the public transportation infrastructure to get us from places. Once you go to places like Europe or Southeast Asia, you start to realize that buses, trains, even carpools, is an insanely affordable option. You know, most of the time people are backpacking, they're gonna be doing it on a budget. And when you're doing it on budget, planes and buses are gonna be cheaper than a plane. And even adding on to that, taking a train or taking a bus or just carpooling is better for the environment than always taking flights. Sometimes it just makes sense to take a plane because in Europe you can use this thing called Ryanair, which is basically a sky taxi. You can fly to a different country from anywhere from 10 to $20. But one thing that I found is all the time that you take going to the airport early, then you gotta go through the customs, Line. It's about the same time as if you took the bus or a train in most scenarios. And also with that, if you're on a bus or a train, you actually get to see the landscape of the countries that you're going in. Remember, you're probably only going to be in this country once, twice, or you're not going to go back there for a long time. So being able to see the countryside or some of the monuments or the seaside from bus or train is actually pretty cool. Also, if you work remotely, you can get so much more work done on a train than in a plane. The biggest suggestion that I can give you if you're in Europe for buses is to use Flixbus. If you're in Asia, overnight buses are gonna be your lifesaver. And then for trains, you can always book in advance to save a little bit of money, but I kinda like going to the train station and just finding out when the next train is. It's kind of spontaneous. And my number two biggest mistake while traveling has been booking hostels for more than two days at a time. Now, I know for the non-spontaneous travelers, this is gonna be an absolute no, but I want you to hear me out. Have you ever been in a scenario where you went to a hotel, a hostel, or an Airbnb, and you just instantly did not like it? The vibe wasn't there, it wasn't like the pictures, all that. Well, while traveling, especially in hostels, that happens a little bit more than you would think. Not exactly that it doesn't look like the pictures, but sometimes the vibe is just off. It's not what you're looking for. The social atmosphere isn't there. If you work remotely, maybe the Wi-Fi isn't great. Let me promise you, unless you're in super peak tourist season in the super peak busy city like Rome or Paris, you can always extend your stay. Now, is it gonna cost you a couple extra dollars? Yes, it probably will, but it'll save you money in the long run and happiness because you'll stay at the right places. And that's the beauty of traveling, especially by yourself. If you go somewhere and don't like it, always remember, you don't have to stay there. You have the freedom, you have the choice to get up and go somewhere else. That's actually how I met one of my best Swiss friends. We both left a hostel because it was not great. It was kind of terrible, and we moved to another hostel, instantly bonded, and had a great time. The number three biggest mistake I've made while backpacking is charging electronics incorrectly. You might be hearing this and have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, and I was in the same scenario until I started traveling the world and realizing that every single part of the world has a different plug outlet. And these different plugs and different outlets give out different amounts of electricity. And if you have a device, a camera, a phone, a computer, it's compatible with the amount of electricity from your country, it is not going to be the same when you travel to a different part of the world. This is the exact way that I just destroyed the battery on my computer. I can't use my computer now for more than an hour and a half without it needing to be charged. And that is all because of the wrong electricity. Next time you travel, make sure you invest in a quality travel adapter. You can see that this has everything from Europe to the United States to the UK to South America even. And trust me, do not invest in a cheap one because I remember one time in Morocco, people I was with got a cheap one from a market and it actually set on fire inside their Airbnb. And my fourth biggest mistake that I've made while backpacking is not being lenient enough on my schedule. Look, it takes a special type of person to book a trip with almost nothing planned. But what I can tell you is that my most phenomenal memories, memories that I'll never forget for the rest of my life, have come from spontaneous moments while traveling. And don't get me wrong, sometimes you need to plan things like a flight home or a flight to, or you need to book at this place because it's too busy, but don't be so hard on yourself. There are endless amounts of time while I've been backpacking around the world that I've met a very special person in a hostel, on a date, while doing a tour, 
and I've gone away with them for days to weeks to even almost a month. And when I first started doing my trips five years ago, that's something that I wasn't open to. I had a train pass that I could only use on certain days and at certain times. And I felt like that I couldn't be spontaneous, that I had a schedule and I had to stay to it. But something that you start to realize while traveling is if you lose a little bit of money here or you lose a little bit of money there, but you make an incredible memory that you'll remember for the rest of your life, it's worth every single Penny. I'm running away with a Canadian girl in Portugal, to doing a spontaneous trip to Morocco, to villa hopping in Bali. If I never was as spontaneous and as lenient on my travels, none of that would have happened. So with mistake number four, if you're in the moment and you think it feels right, go for it. If you have to rebook a train, rebook the train. If you have to book in a different accommodation, book a different accommodation. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And number five of the biggest mistakes that I've made while traveling is not taking time for myself. And look, you may think because I travel by myself, it's always time to myself. But 95% of the time while traveling solo, you're with other people. From if you meet a special someone or you're hanging out with people at the hostel or you're sharing an Airbnb with a French dude. Trust me, I don't know who he is either. There are days that you're gonna need to leave the hostel life of sleeping in a dorm to go get an Airbnb, go get a hotel room, maybe get a private room. Staying and having yourself, having your alone time is super important. It allows you to recharge. It allows you to catch up on Netflix shows. It allows you to eat whatever you want while you're sleeping in bed. Those things are super needed, especially if you're taking a long trip that's a couple weeks, a couple months, or in my case, a couple of years. And the best part about this, if you're staying in hostels, for example, most of the time, you're gonna be budgeting most of the time. So you have a little bit of extra funds that you can splurge on an Airbnb, you can splurge on a hotel, you can go to the spa one day. That's one of the reasons that I promote budget traveling so much, because if you budget the daily things, you don't go to the most expensive restaurants, you cook your own food, you stay in dorms. When you really need your alone time, you really need to focus on you, you don't have to worry about the financial part. You can do what you need to do to get your alone time, reset yourself, prepare yourself to go back into the social space, recharge your social battery, and you won't feel bad about it. And that, travelers, is gonna be the five biggest mistakes that I've made while backpacking around the world. And of course, these aren't monumental mistakes, but they're little micro ones that you can definitely learn from. But also, don't be afraid to make your own mistakes while traveling, because you learn the most from mistakes, not from successes. With that, I would like to thank all the Patreon, Facebook, and Instagram subscribers for making this travel around the world possible. And if you'd like to join one of those exclusive programs, all of the links for those are down in the description below. All right, travel. Always remember, travel is always a privilege and enjoy every second of it. And I will see you in another video sometime soon. Bye-bye.